in. Paul can't get the shot away. Sent out in front. Short. Short. McCumber. Short. It centers it out in front. 3.30 to go. Sent out in front. Oh, yes! But the victory is still the same. Good afternoon on this frigid day here in Gahnawagi. Minus one outside. Actually, when I woke up at 5.30 this morning, it was minus 10 and minus 14 with the wind chill. Even the hotter action, though, certainly to take place out in the, or inside, I should say, the Gahnawagi Sports Complex. What's going on? Hopefully your morning's a little better than that line. I'm Brandon Bordo for Baby D Memories. A lot has changed in the last week. Halloween no longer an issue. It's it was 15 degrees when we last talked to you. It's minus four as you mentioned right now, or minus one, minus four with the wind chill as we speak. One thing that hasn't changed, Don Milwaukee's got the best percentage in the league. Four wins, zero losses, and zero ties. Coming into this matchup, they are welcoming the Mercy Braves. A rematch of a game which took place two weeks ago. Don Hawagi won that matchup 6-1. to one. Coach Ron Stacey said, no, there is no overconfidence issues heading into today's game. And that's one thing you have to remember is, no matter how much you beat an opponent by at this level, that team is still an A-team over there. And that's an A-team that must be a little bit infuriated following... 8-6-1 now. Starting the Nets for Mercier, Elliot Allard playing 31. Mercier in white playing from our left to right. Playing blue and yellow trim. The Mohawks starting the fellow 31, Sue Goyer to Guanis Abrera. Attacking from right to left with black, gold, and white trim. Throw to Haji Jacobs up front alongside Rojahio Daigo. On one wing, Ryan Stacy on the other, the defense pairing. With Nair Hadaze Lahash and Cal and Stacy, we are underway. And back comes Mercier. Rafael Odom coming in. Good back check. Sent out in front of the net. And that one's going to be blocked. The puck is kicked up by Stacy. A shot in the flex and goes to the opposite corner. William Durrett with the puck. Durrett. And now it's slammed off the wall and it is misplayed again it's fresh ice so might be getting caught up in all that slush that the Zamboni put out Mohawks on a change there's a wrister that's blocked and it's cleared back to the point band on band upon was a clearing attempt and now Ryan Stacy gets it into mercy territory Mohawks trying to complete a change Rua Dizayani Daibo comes out. Stacy on the, the wing. She's due for a change soon as well. Moses keeps the play into Mercy territory. Stacy has to tag up. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they got caught. 
Marcus Rice uh, played the puck while Stacy was not off completely and we're going to have our first penalty of the game. It'll be too many men and that is the right call. Oh, that's like the worst spot too. That's the worst spot to be in. Fortunately, the Ganawagi Onu had not completely gotten off the ice, so. Anyway, power play mercy, a minute 21 into this contest, no score. Now Marcus has to go on in the box. Ryan Stacy could not go in because she was technically coming off of the ice. So Rice is in, power play Mercier. Jackson McCumber out there, as is Moses. Along with Uwadzi Zayani Daibo. And here come the Mohawks, Ryder Norton up ahead. McCumber in solo, same made. And Allard, Allard comes up big. Mercy trying to get this power play reorganized, chipped out of the zone. And the Mohawks get it out. Daibo picks it up. Luizayani Daibo coming in. And the numbers battle eventually goes to Mercy as three waves are around him. Puck comes back to the point. Slap shot. Blocked. And the Mohawks shoot it back in. Good job here on this PK. A minute gone by in the penalty. Norton, out in front, and it's deflected wide by McCumber. McCumber back up on the backhand, plays it back to the point. The pass handcuffed Daibo, and Stacy gets back. Good defensive play. By a, a rock solid defenseman on that blue line for the Mohawks, Stacy. He's got it now, the captain for Ganawagi. Skating into Mercy territory. Stacy goes outside. Made a defender fall. Thrown out in front. Blocked. And now the Mohawks need Stacy to get back. And Stacy is back, but unfortunately he's the lone mat back. Two on one. And it's broken up. Norton with the stick lift. And Ryder Norton picks it up from the Mohawks. Norton across center ice. Eight seconds to go in the penalty. Norton. Good shot, and that one hit something and deflected into the opposite corner. And the power play is done as Rice is out of the box. Full strength, five on five. DeLil has to come back defensively. He does, he picks it up. Rome had a man open. He has Hudgy wide open. He's gonna take it himself. And it's knocked away. Fortunately, Hudgy was just coming off of the bench. Now Rome tries to feed it out in front. Centering pass is deflected, and the Mohawks need to come back. Back defensively is the hash. Two wax coming in. Now a wraparound pass is snuffed out, up as far as the point, and now backhanded, not out. Picked back up by the Mohawks, and they lob it up to Rome DeLille, who's all alone. Rome is alone. Coming right in, he scores! This is a gorgeous saucer pass from the blue line. I think Marcus Rice with the feed. And the Mercy player was caught pitching in. Marcus recognized it and set up a beautiful aerial pass, an alley oop sort of to Rome DeLille and DeLille's in stride. And he makes no mistake and the Mohawks are on the board. It's one nothing. Just a little under six minutes left in period one. And Mercy bring it back in offside. And so what happens is the, the Mohawks game tomorrow against Valley Field has been moved to next week so that means next Saturday the 16th we'll have a double header for you the Adam B's will be at home and then the Adam A's will be on the road in Valley Field that double header coming up for you tomorrow we have uh, next week we have a game coming up tomorrow as well as uh, Mercy is offside 
the Adam Bees will be in Il Perot trying to get their second victory of the year. Pee Wee A's coming up next here at the Plex. They're taking on the Vojoy Titans. Adam A's currently the Mohawks on top of Mercy by a score of one to nothing. And now here comes Gahnawag A. Dival over skating the puck. Everyone falling in neutral ice. There's a pass out in front. Odom's pass is ricochets and now it's sent up the boards. There's a good pass from Stacy. Hudgy Jacobs over to Rohahio Daibo. Daibo trying to split the defense. Dropped it off. It works like a drop pass anyway. Hudgy lets it go. Loose and they blow it down. Ryan Stacy in the right place though for that rebound. 1 0, 448 to go, period 1. Face off coming up to the right of the Mercier goal. Gahnawagi 1, Mercier no score. This is Adam A. Hockey. They're on Baby Blue Memories. Gahnawagi trying to get to 5 0 on the campaign. Face off controlled by Rua Gizayani Daibo. Trying to get the shot away. Stand on it, and Mercier breaks out. Lahash has to get back. There's a wrister blocked. A follow up chance is going to be steered wide of the net. Now a Mercier player is in the net. Mohawks luckily for them, the puck's not yet as the shot comes in. I say yet because there was an incumbent uh, mercy opportunity. Ryder Norton gets a stick lift and the puck makes his way back out the center ice. Marcus Rice after the puck. Good job. And now the Mohawks have to retreat though because the uh, two other forwards accidentally ran into one another and caused the offside. 1-0, 4-10 to go. Period one. McCumber, Galil, and two wax. And boy, this line was lights out last week against the Hornwa. A combined 11 points between the three forwards. Mercy brings it in offside. As Durant just couldn't hold his urge to get over that blue line. Mercy going to change it up. Mercy 1 and 2 on the season. Of course, one of those two losses was the 6 1 decision against Gahawage. Very close thus far, though. Four minutes remaining, and the Mohawks are on top. One zip. Puck is out. And uh, another offside. So the pace has really slowed down, which I think actually. It's not the worst thing for Mercy. This is a fast Mohawks team. But a lot of offsides, a lot of chippy play, that early penalty. one nothing Mohawks, but right now they might want to they want to quicken the pace. Let's we'll see if this line can do such a thing. It's Ron below the goal scorer. Up to Jackson McCumber. McCumber has the man open. Send it back out in front. And the pass did not get through. Back at the point. Paul holds his own. Puck goes behind the goal. Two acts there to pick it up. Rakwahawe centers it out in front. That feed is broken up. It comes back to the point. Paul shoots it and angles it towards the corner. Delil, the first one there. Delil sends it back. Mohawks working on a cycle game now. Two acts trying to send it back to the opposite corner. Intercepted by Mercier. And they play it off the wall. It gets out. And now the Mohawks are kind of trapped here. Moses has to come back. He checks Odom. A stick check anyway, and it works like a charm. Delil comes back. Rome passes it. Onside. What a pass. Jackson McCumber scores. <laughs> Rome Delil and Jackson McCumber. That combination working like Adam Oates and Tan Neely. And it's 2 0 Gahnawage. See you on TSN's top 10. Rolling the lil from his knees makes the pass and then Jackson McCumber with uh, Connor McGregor kind of shimmy. Connor McGregor, which was borrowed from Vince McMahon, shimmy and it's uh, two nothing Gahnawage. Roja Hio Daibo right off the face off and Allard has to be sharp on that. So the lil has one, McCumber has the other, and the Mohawks have a two nothing lead. 
Face off coming up to the left of the goal. Back at the point. Moses wide open. Shoots and that hits something. A follow-up chance behind the net. Ajay up with uh, Daibo and Ryan Stacy this line. And there's a lead pass which is going to be settled in. Backhanded off the wall, not out. And there's a steal by Paul. Picked back up by the Mohawks and chipped as far as center by Hudgy Jacobs. He plays his position excellent, uh, very efficiently. Taylor made to play the center position. Roja Hio Daibo coming in. Roja Hio Daibo goes forehand and it's stuffed. Go! Oh, it's stuffed in! They score! I thought the tender had it. Doha Hiyodaibo on the finish. Two goals in 58 seconds and the Mohawks have opened up a 3-0 advantage. Roja Hiyodaibo gets the goal. And Gahawage has widened the gap to 3-zip. Nuwadzizayani Daibo coming back. Daibo goes after the puck and now it's sent around the horn. Coming in to play it, Stacy. And he collided with one of the Mercier wingers. That was Raphael Malet. And it's a cross check coming up on the Mohawks. And it'll be on Stacy. So a power play coming up for Mercier. And some jeers coming to us to our left. 3-0 Gahnawagi, but Mercier going to work on the PP, 0-for-1 with the man advantage. In fact, the Mohawks did a masterful job of killing off that first power play attempt. Face of one to the point. And it is chipped out. Mohawks have a man open. And here's a breakaway for Ryder Norton. Save! Allard with a big stop, and now Mercier has one man back, or more, the Mohawks had one man back. Marcus Rice takes a tumble, all sorts of humanity tumbling across the neutral zone. But there Hardazi Lahash picks it up, gets behind his own net, off the wall, and the Mohawks clear it. Mercy has to come back, but Norton trying to win the battle. And Mercy looks to break out. Picked up by the Mohawks and shot towards the Mercy blue line. Braves on a change. Brought back in, intercepted, slammed, not out. Stolen by Mercy. Here's an opportunity. Shot. Abrera made the stop, a rebound. Pick back up by the Braves. Backhander. A bro the same. A rebound. The Mohawks pick it up. And McCumber's away in full stride. Two on one. Got Hawage. Jackson McCumber with Norton. Can't make the pass. And this one's going to be thrown on net. The stop is made. 7.3 on the clock. And a faceoff coming up to the left of the Mercier goal. Here we go. McCumber, this handles it. Three seconds left in two. Mercy needs to get a shot away. DeLille got in the way and that's going to do it. Other than penalties, I don't think the coaching staff and the Mohawks would have too much to complain about in that first period. John Hawaii, three. Mercy, no score. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Let's get you set for this second period of play. Gone Hawage on top of Mercy, three to nothing. It's Adam A. Hockey, uh, Roja Hio Daibo alongside Rome Delil, Jackson McCumber, the goal scorers, and it's three zip. Mercy is still with 25 seconds of power play time as he commences this second period of uh, play. Two acts try to get it out to McCumber, Jackson 
Trying to do a Datsuki and move. Brought it up the own DeLille. DeLille goes backhand and that one deflects wide. DeLille sends it out in front of the net. Moses turns and fires. That one pinballs to the opposite corner. Penalty over. Mercier 0 for 2 with the man advantage. DeLille sends it across looking for Moses and the puck will not get to him. Sent behind the net. Coming back to get it for Mercier is Polstanyoy. Polstanyoy, sorry, 64. Bringing it in is Durant. Durant has the puck settled down. Durant tries to get it across and Rome DeLo broke it up. There's a good feed up to McCumber. And McCumber not able to get it. Tuax did, and then McCumber lost his balance. There's a steal. Delo gets it to a shooting lane. Let's it go. Big stop by Allard. Rome out in front. It's the Bucky D score. I think Tuax got it. Getting confirmed reports that it's 99. McCumber's got his second. McCumber and Tuax in the right place at the right time. So, I mean, the Mohawks obviously getting the right players to the front of the net. Wow, Don Hawagi on top now. Four zip with that 840 to go in the second. As Mercier comes back. There's a wrister blocked. Braves looking to get a shot away. It's deflected by the Mohawks and Stacy plays it up. Hudson Jacobs inside. Lower to Hudson Jacobs. Makes the pass. He hits Dybo in stride and there's going to be a penalty to Mercier. And power play coming up for the Mohawks. It's a trip. Rohahio Dybo settled the puck down, kept moving his feet and drew a penalty. And the Mohawks are going to work on power play number one. Face-off coming up to the right of the Mercier goal. Boy, I can't wait to see uh, the Mohawks and how they do against some of the other teams as well. The Huntingtons, the Shattagy Ducks, Shattagy Cavaliers. 4-0 start here and a 4-0 lead in the game too as Moses' shot is blocked. 5-0 and the puck gets out. Paul keeps it alive. And now back from the Mohawks. Daibo. Boy, he's got that inside out move like perfected here. Daibo. Out of front. And that pass just missed Hudge. A slap shot. Lands on it. Forces Allard to make the stop. Loose puck. Daibo. He's, he's got it. And his shot is blocked by the defenseman. And then it rolls wide of the goal. Moses at the point, keeps it alive. Daibo chipping at it. Daibo moving his feet. Back at the point. Paul in front, and that pass a little too hot for Ryan Stacy to handle. Good pressure on this power play, but the Mohawks have to drop back. Now Mercier comes back to get it. This is Maverick Talbot, off the boards, not out, stolen by the Mohawks, Norton trying to get in front, there's a shot, save made by Allard, the Braves trying to get it out, Odom gets it out of the zone, 30 seconds to go in the Mohawks power play, Callan Stacy comes back, Gets it up. Ryder Norton. Norton coming in. Norton puts on the brakes. Gets to the hash marks. Gets a shot away. Not on the net. Mercy player loses their footing. Rice going after it. Braves trying to pick it up. It comes back. Not out. Lahash keeps it alive. And it's intercepted by Mercy. Penalty over. John Hawage 0 for 1 on the power play. Neither power play has been very efficient up to this point. 
Ruin TJ Andy Daigo centers it out in front, and that is going to be covered up with 5.52 to go in the second period of play. Ron Hawagi leading this one 4 to 0. Daigo's lying out there. He's on the wing. Ryder Norton on the opposite wing as well. One back to the point. Stacy tiptoeing around the blue line. And it's shot out of the zone. Mohawks forced to tag, get back. And a centering pass hits a leg. Mercy has a punt in stride. Brister blocked. A follow up chance. And it'll be the Mohawks coming back. Marcus Rice, who took the draw. All it was is Ayani Daibo and Ryder Norton. So three lefties out here for Ron Stacy. Centering feed. Blocked. Backhander right on. Allards makes the stop. Norton goes to the boards, takes his man out. It comes back to the point. Oh, a Mohawks defender. Moses lost his uh, footing at the point. Mohawks keep it in though. Norton on his backhand. Norton out in front. What a goal! And the Mohawks have hit up five here. It's five nothing with 4.51 to go. This is just relentless forechecking. Absolutely relentless forechecking by the Mohawks. And Ryder Norton powers his way to the goal. Makes a good strong move and an even better finish. And it's 5 0 with 4.51 to go here in the second. This is a, this is a well oiled, well taken care of uh, Gahnawagi machine. On top 5 0 against Mercier. Looking for more. Jackson McCumber coming in. He got knocked away. Moses keeps the play alive. Gahnawagi needs to tag up. McCumber mishandles the puck and Mercy instead bring it in. Offside! 4.29 to go in the second period of play. Gahnawagi 5, Mercy no score. And the faceoff will be coming up just outside the Mercy blue line. Back on the Braves, bringing it in. Mr. Block, and it's deflected from the danger area momentarily. A shot comes in. That's poked away. Not out, though. Arister again. Block in front of that net. And away come the Mohawks. It's Rome DeLille, and he got it knocked off his stick. McCumber bringing it back in with two acts. Jackson McCumber still with the puck. He's got the puck on a yo-yo string here. Wrapping it around. Back in front for Rome. Rome makes one move, trying to cut into a shooting angle. Shot, Allard's got it, and he's going to hang on with 3.47 to go in the second period of play. This line has, well, actually, this entire team, it hasn't even really been a case of a line. Ryder Norton's got one. Ryder Norton has one. Rojahio Daigo has one. McCumber with two, DeLille with one. Obviously the most important number, 5-0, that's what Gunawagi has. Gang y'all. Over to Duret. Duret skates up ahead, gets by over to Hunter Jacobs and Duret inside. Duret comes in. Duret over the blue line. Duret. And it's gonna be poked away by Abrera. Couldn't get the glove on it, so he just blocked it out of the way. The hash. And it's picked up by the Mohawks. Shot off the wall and it gets out. Mercier stops it. And now the Mohawks come back. The hash got as far as the neutral zone. The hash picks it back up. The hash coming in. But there Hadazi the hash gets a shot away at the flex and lands on. Allard forced to make the stop as that puck changed directions. Rister right on. Rohio Daigo picks it back up. Shot, save, a rebound. 
and that just got out of Ryan Stacy's grasp and the puck gets out Callan Stacy has an open lane the boulevard is open in front of him Callan Stacy coast to coast and he fanned on the backhander so he thought everything was going the Mohawks way <laughs> back comes Mercier Stacy's got to get back. The rest of the ball is due too. And Rona Hudgey Jacobs steers Mercy back to center ice. Jacobs skating. Hudgey up to center ice. And the puck amazingly finds its target. Norton picks it up. Norton gets into a shooting angle, shoots, and that's blocked. Moses trying to come back in, and it's intercepted by the Mohawks. Hudgey Jacobs, over to Hudgey. Had the puck knocked off of his stick. Now Rice out there. Paul at the point. Paul back to the opposite point. Moses, a wrister, deflected, not on. Rice behind the net, trying to wrap it around. Deflected, a wrister, they score! Ryder Norton has two. And it's a touchdown without the extra point. 6-0. Marcus Rice takes the puck to the net. And he drew two Mercy defenders. The puck came out. And Johnny on the spot. Ryder Norton, right place, right time. Kind of just lobbing the puck over. Allard, who was down on the ice to stop the first chance. Back on the Mohawks. McCumber coming back in. Jackson McCumber ran out of real estate. And Mercy has to come back. We're in the final minute of play. And the puck gets out to center ice. Moses to Galil. And Ron Galil shoots it out of play. And we'll have a faceoff coming up outside the Gahnawagi. Or sorry, outside the Mercy zone. John Hawagi leading this one by a score of six to zip. Two goals from Ryder Norton, two goals from Jackson McCumber, one from Rohahio Daibo, and one from Ron DeLille. And back comes Mercier. Over the blue line. Here's a shot. Off the post. Tell you what, Durrett had a lot of time to get ready to, to shoot that one. Cleared. Not out though. Good job by Mercy here in the last 30 seconds of this uh, second period. He gets out. Moses banks it out to the blue line and it gets out. Mercy has to tag up. 10 seconds to go. Two axe picks it up. It's a blow away two axe. A backhander is cleared away. And it's going to be sent all the way down as we get into the last, well, the last play in the second period. John Hawagi, six, Mercy, no score. This is Adam A. Hockey. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. All right, here we go. Period three, 14 minutes running time. Put on the clock. Adam A. Hockey, Gahnawagi, six. Mercy, no score. Go with 100. Jacobs trying to drop it off the Royal Hill Daibo. And that pass is going to be red and sent back to center ice. Lahash. Durrett was waiting in the wings. And it's going to be intercepted by the Mohawks. They look to start back up ice. Stacy comes back. Talon Stacy. Skating hard, he's got a man open. He'll take it himself. Shot! And a big stop by Ellard as he got it with the glove. DeLille lobs it on net and it forces Allard to be sharp as that puck changed directions. Stacy fighting for it. Mercy slam it out and the Braves come back. Over the blue line. There's a shot. Abrera made the save, it's given away! And Fanon! 
Rohio Daibo trying to skate up, could not. It's picked up by the Mohawks, slammed off the wall and not out. Now it might get out. Jacobs makes a move. Throw to Hunter Jacobs. Cuts inside. Gets the shot off and that's going to be stopped by Allard and he'll hang on. 12.30 to go here in this third period of play. Uh, I, I guess there might not have been too much in terms of overconfidence issues. That could always be when you have your second matchup of the year against the team, especially this early in the year, and it hasn't been that long since you beat them. There's, there's sort of that, well, we, we beat them. You know, uh, we should beat them again. Mohawks are playing their game. Look at this pass. Daibo! Oh, just off the mark. Ryder Norton. Looking like a, a skilled NHL S power forward out there. Comes back to the point. A shot! Block! A backhander! Bobs up in the air, hits a Mercier stick. It was touched high. And it slammed off the boards and gets out. And back comes Mercier. Over the blue line. A wrister! A brewer got it with the, with the glove. Graves keep it alive. Backhand pass. Ricochets. And the Mohawks scoop it up. And it gets out. Norton comes back over the blue line. Ryder Norton puts on the brakes. Ryder, look at that move. Ryder between the legs. Oh my. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I seen. Quite frankly, I don't think the entire arena could believe as Moses comes back defensively to knock the puck away. Comes back to the point. A chance in there for Mercier. Picked back up by the Braves. And we got a trippy call coming up to the Mohawks. And a power play for Mercier. Mohawks maintaining a 6-0 lead. Ryder Norton pulling off some NHL 20 moves. It's like he had the puck on a string. Going between the legs on a shot attempt. Face off coming up to the left of the Mohawk stage. The little Jackson McCumber. And now it's picked up by Don Hawage. Shot out. Arnaka Yesu Paul, by the way, in the box. Jackson McCumber. Out in front. Dalil has the puck bounce away from him. Wister. Backhanded again. Blocked. Chipped off the wall. Henry feed a shot block. Another try intercepted. And the Mohawks are away. Stacy across center ice. Cal and Stacy skating in. Stacy backhands it on net. And it's knocked away. Now the Mohawks have to get back. Nobody back. Breakaway. Odom. And it's steered aside. What a poke check! Abrera aggressive coming out after Odom. Picked up by the Mohawks and cleared at least to neutral ice. Mercy has to tag up. Another try to get it out and they will blast it the length of the ice here. Yeah, that's too many men. And the power play is done. That's that's unfortunate. It happens. We've seen it happen in the first period. And we're going to see it now. With too many men on the ice call. Sometimes you're trying to execute your line change. And that puck comes in. And you have five players on. Or six players on. One player too many. It happens. And it's now four on four. For 23 seconds. Or 
Yeah, 23 seconds, and then the Mohawks will go to work on a power play, assuming no one else takes another minor. And over to Hudge Jacobs taking the draw for the Mohawks. Going up against Cote Chamberlain. Shot off the draw. Blocked. Well, it's passed up the center ice. And the puck is brought back in offside. 7.50 and counting to go in this one. No goals scored in the third period of play. Three goals scored by the Mohawks in period one. Three goals scored by the Mohawks in period two. 6-0 is where we stand. Nobody's been able to get one in here in this third period of play. There's a pass up. Stacy out in front, Daimo! And the punt. I don't think he expected to get that pass. I mean, that one was like, that was like threading the needle. Penalty to Mercy. Oh, power, uh, offside here. Penalty to the Mohawks is over. Donawagi gets power play number two here. 0 for 1 with the 9 advantage. Mercy, by the way, fell to 0 for 3 with uh, superior numbers on the ice. Rice. Rua Dizayani Daibo and Ryder Norton. The lineup. Rice stepped up and he got the worst of an incidental collision. And the puck, look at that, it's still look, looking for him. The puck came back and hit his stick, which is on the ice. Slam up in the air. And now Ryder Norton gives chase to the puck. It's out. No icing because, of course, the Mohawks are on the power play. Moses just gets it up the wing. And slammed out. Right in Norton giving chase to the puck. Norton. And a good diving play made. Out in front. One timer. Scores! Rua Dijayani Daimo makes it 7-0. Pack on the extra point after the touchdown. 7-0 with six minutes to go. Power play goal. Scored by Daibo. And the Mohawks come back. There's a wrister a little high. Duax chasing the puck and a clearing attempt hit a leg comes back to the point a first uh, shooting attempt by Lahash was blocked and then Lahash taken down and there's a steal by Roan Delil Delil skating in Delil shoots he scores and Roan Delil has a hat trick and that goal comes with five minutes to go. Well, I think on the log is ready for their double header next week. The Adam A's have now a game rescheduled for Valley Field. And well, they're going to be 5 0 0 heading into that matchup. Mercier 1 and 3 on the year. They've been a very competitive team. It's just this Gonawage squad is. And they're on a mission. It seems like two X shot. We don't. No, it was stopped. Allard got a stick in the way, I think. Mercy Tender, by the way, has been excellent tonight. As the puck comes back to center ice, Kahnawagi in control on this one. Arister, save made. Mercier comes back. Four minutes running time remaining. I think it is actually probably closer to three minutes. Offside. Coming up next, some more coverage for you. Pee Wee A Mohawks taking on the Vaudroy Titans. We'll have the full play-by-play -play coming up. Second half of our doubleheader. It was not supposed to be a doubleheader, but no one's complaining about bonus pucks. Face off coming up outside the Gonhawagi blue line. Drew to Haji Jacobs. And now here's Roja Hiodaibo. Oh, can't get far. 
as he was stopped outside the blue line. And the Mohawks lost their footing. There's the steal. Arister blocked by Moses. And the Mohawks get it out to center. Here comes Rohahio Daibo. Two on one. Three on offside! Oh. Do one of the Mohawks offside is we're in the last minute 30 of this one. About. They have to stop the clock to put penalty minutes up, so we should have like a minute and change remaining here. Shot in. I thought it was on the other side of center, but the referees did not. So they keep playing. Sounds in front, save a rebound! Allard forced to make another stop. Paul a shot block. Good feed, and now Norton goes to the corner. Norton trying to send it out in front, he got cut off. Trying to get his stick in there. And boy, there's a mass of humanity. There's Daibo, can't find it. Comes back to the point, shot, puck on edge. Odom deflects it behind the goal. Picked up by Mercier. Can't get it out. Good job by Paul keeping the puck alive. And it goes out. Icing is the call. We're in the final minute, I guess, officially, because it's 54. So they're going to stop the game at 55. And the Mohawks are going to get to 5-0-0 on the campaign. Mercy is going to drop to 1-3, but you figure for them, it's the rest of the year they have to regroup. And if they see the Mohawks down the line, they have a lot to learn and a lot, obviously a lot to improve. And they will be improved by the next time if these teams play again this year. That comes Mercy, and that's it. Mohawks win! Mohawks win! Mohawks win, the Mohawks take it down. Final score here, eight nothing. So Ganalagi 5-0 and old Mercier drops to 1-3 and 0 on the year. I tell you something, this team is, <laughs> this team seems to be on a mission. They played a picture-perfect game against a formidable opponent today in Mercier. As they salute their fans following another victory. Don Hawaii 5 and 0, Mercier 1 and 3. We're coming back with game two of the doubleheader. Oh yeah, I gotta give out the MVPs. Oh, I really wish I didn't remember because this job is the hardest part about my job. Uh, anytime there's a shutout, you know where it's going. Subway or Guana Sobrera, 31. You're the game MVP today. Your final score, Gahnawagi, 8, Mercy, no score. We're coming back with the second half of our doubleheader. It's PWA Gahnawagi taking on the Bojoy Titans. I'm Brandon Bordeaux for Baby Blue Memories on a Giwahe.